First, there is no such thing as peak oil, modern methods ensure that we have centuries of oil to come. Second, big oil has the big bucks to ensure that we keep consuming their product indefinitely. But while this situation might sound hopeless, I see the following solution. Extract the hydrogen from petroleum products currently used to power inefficient heat engines and use it to power much more efficient fuel cells. Big Oil still gets to sell their product, just not as much because of the much greater efficiency. As an example, the amount of natural gas that would take a Honda Civic GX powered by CNG, compressed natural gas, 100 miles, emitting CO2 in the process, will take a Toyota Mirai or Honda Clarity powered by the hydrogen extracted from the same amount of natural gas 200 miles, emitting no CO2. Natural gas has the additional advantage that the distribution problem for it has already been solved, most households already have it. All that's needed is a compact machine to convert natural gas CH4, to hydrogen and carbon, with your waste management company dealing with the carbon without converting it to CO2. Fusion energy would be an even better solution if it can be made to work. It should therefore be pursued in parallel with the above. Solar PV and wind turbines are also good as stationary energy platforms, but uh, they do not cater for mobile platforms on road, sea, and air, and b, they have a long way to go to catch up with the total amount of energy available in both present and future natural gas reserves.